What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back, uh, and we had a slight issue, so you saw the last episode cut off, cut off abruptly, and that is because I went over here, and you go through here, and about right here after we crawled through, the video cut for some reason. It just like cut as if I hit the stop button. And so I played for a little bit longer, and there's no way to reset this puzzle. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of retract the puzzle. It's not complete. Four mirrors, so. each with a different marking. They're numbered. This is mirror one. I can get to the altar now. It says I can get to the altar, but I don't think I can. So here's how we do this. So first of all... And come over here. And we're going to turn this bad boy. Right there. Now, we're going to go back. To here. Like, I remember how, to do, how I did this. Okay, so now... Turn this bad boy. It's been like 30 hours, or not 30, it's been like 24 hours since I... Actually, it has been like 30. I did this in the... I recorded the other one yesterday afternoon. So I don't actually remember this, so we're gonna have to remember it. Okay, so then you come over here. I have some stuff set up differently. Like, that's not supposed to be... That's what confused me, so... Now you're going to turn this, and you're going to turn it right there. I go back and do the whole puzzle for the sake of the video. I don't know how close I had the puzzle to solve or if I actually did solve the puzzle, but now we're going to head back this way. Spin this bad boy around. And you're going to turn that one over there. Come across here. And we're going to turn this one. We're going to turn it here. Probably going to do something. I'm going to say something stupid and mess this up. Because now I had it figured out and then I realized my recording was done and then I tried to reset it and I was like, yeah, this isn't worth it. So that's a way out. That's not important. I can get to the altar now. There was a collectible there. And I think, oh, there was a dig spot back here. That was all that was in here. But I grabbed those before I realized that my recording had cut. And this game doesn't have save points, which is annoying, so I couldn't just, like, restart. Even though it would have been 40 minutes lost, I would have chose that rather than have this puzzle all jacked up. Okay, so now, you would turn this... I think this thing is normally pointing towards the middle. So, turn this... Leave... Let me see here. So, you turn it here... So then you can move that one over there. So now we got to go back. <clears throat> totally missed this. Well, it's a good thing I jacked this all up because I would have never grabbed that. <laughs> I think I'm doing this right. Because... Well, actually... Can you just turn this right here to do this one right here? I'm not entirely sure. I'm just going on a limb here. And, oh, okay, I almost missed that jump. Let's come down here. Does this need to be up one? Or can I actually I can make get it? To the altar now. 
Oh no, you just have to do this. Okay. That's a lot easier than I thought it would be. And we're here. I thought there was a little bit more than that, but I'm just an idiot. Now to find a way out of here. Hotsin's hunger. Increase the amount of natural crafting resources gathered from each source. There was a corridor near Mira 4. So, yeah, that was uh that was pretty easy. Untold riches. Gather 40 gold ore. So yeah, that puzzle, not too bad. Not too bad. I think I pretty much had it complete, except I had that thing pointing over there instead of to the one thing. But, point is, that's that tomb completed. Once again, I, I, I apologize for the, for the recording issue. I don't know what happened, so it just, like, stopped. And I check, because sometimes my computer's, like, super stupid, and it's like, oh, your storage is full, even though it's not full. Because when I start these, I save them to a new spot that's not where the computer wants to save them. And sometimes I forget, but that's not what happens, so I don't know. Is this just a jump up? Yeah. Yeah. Because where it wants to save it is dumb. It tries to save it to, like, this... It tries to save it to an external, and I don't know why. Can we go down? And my external is, like, my school external. So it's, like, it's pretty full with different programs and stuff like that, so... It does not have a lot of room for, like, 30 gigs of... video. So if I accidentally record like three videos in a row, it like fills up really quick. What is that? How do I get over there? Can I just make... Oh no, wait, we're back here. Okay, we'd be dead in real life because I just face planted in the ground. I still want to know how to get back here. Does that look like somewhere you can go? Okay, anyway, let's get out of here. I have to find this final person. Where is this final person at? See, that's my issue. You can't go around... You, you go, you see, I'm going away from the person now, so... Are they... See, they're not this way, they're this way, the way I'm looking right now. So... Let's figure... Let's figure this out. Okay, so they're still this way. Hey, look, there's a camp. Aha! I bet it's that person in the corner. Did I solve it? Did I solve the mystery of being not very intelligent? I think so. This has got to be the person. Sir... Yeah, Hello. let's go. Are you one of the outcasts? Yes, Ishiki. I'm Chaska. I'm Lara. Pisco sent me. Pisco the dead? Send you to me? Did you lose a game of Patoli? No. A boy Taki lost his dice. I'm trying to win them back for him. Pisco wanted me to talk to all those who've been cast out before he gives them back to me. I'm surprised he didn't try to play you for them. He is. Ah, well, all I can tell you is this. Like Pisco, I was cast out. I lost my job and my position. But not because of an accident, because of something I did, and would do again. 
What happened? Do you have any children? No. Neither do I. I did not receive the blessing of Ishel. But for my mistress, I was the midwife for her three children. I loved them like they were my own, until I lost my position. What did you do? I'm a thief, Lara. What did you steal? A jade necklace. Why? The youngest, Kiara, she saw the necklace while visiting a friend. She took it. They were coming for her. They would have cast her out. She was an only child. I said I took it. My mistress took the necklace from me and threw it on the floor, breaking it. And cast me out instead. I'm so sorry. Don't be sad for me. I would do it again. Kiara's learned her lesson, and she has a good life. As for me, I serve Ishel now through my weaving, the way my mother taught me. And my Kiara comes to visit me sometimes. Thank you for sharing that, Chaska. Kiara was lucky to have you. Be well, Ishiki. Okay, so that's four. Oh, did another one pop up on the map? Oh, yep. Final one popped up on the map. Nice. Like going... Yep, gotta go down here and around. Alright, how close am I now? Pretty close. See, I'm gonna guess. Come see what I have to trade. Hello. Hello. You're Lara, aren't you? Uh Pisco sent you. He did. I'm Moreka. <laughs> that was the second time I heard your name today, Lara. The cultists are talking about you. You're the one who started the cleansing. The one who found the key of Shakshel. I am. Oh, don't feel bad, child. The cleansing was long overdue. It must be decided. Do we continue or begin again? That's not an easy decision. Did you hear that, Rimac? Deciding the fate of the world is not easy. <laughs> I like this one. You're right, Lara. It isn't. And if the cult of Kukulkan decides, they will enslave us all and call it protection. Won't they, Rimac? <laughs> he doesn't talk much. The cult is acting out of fear. Fear of what? Fear of the outside. Fear of change. But the same threats that are outside are in all of us. Fear is the enemy, not change. Change is the only constant. But look at me rambling on, Dreamac. The lady must want to buy something to help in her search. Uh, hello, Crimson Huntress. Military rope used for quickly traversing rope lines. Lock picks. Ooh, we got to get the lock picks. Extracted from blister beetles used to craft deadly nerve gas and arrows. Laser sight and a new uh, uh, submachine gun. So we definitely need to sell some stuff. So we got a lot of wood. Let's sell 11 of these. Mm, good deal. Let's sell six Enjoy. of these. How much did we need? 28. Can't sell the feathers. We'll sell four Thank of those. You. Nine of these. Enjoy it. Mm, we're not exceedingly high on anything Thank else. You. I already forgot how much I need. How much do I need? 28. We're at 25. So five mm, more of those. Five Enjoy more wood. It. And let's sell one of these. Thank you. Oh, I almost bought the wrong thing. Buy the lockpicks. Come find me if you need anything else. Okay, so now, 
that just the end of the quest? No. Seek out. Re okay, return to Pisco. Gotta return to him anyway, because he has that lockpick that I need to take care of. Rip the stairs. <sighs> Alright, let's pop this bad boy open. What do we got in here? Some XP and some new language. Nice. Oh, hold on. I almost missed this. Patoli met. All right, let's talk to the homeboy here. Peace, Carl? You've already spoken to them, haven't you? I have. But you still don't see it. They all had hope. You need to do better than that if you want to win the game, Lara. Hope is one thing, but all those who have been cast out have thrived in their new lives despite their circumstances. Even you, Pisco. Well, I am the best Patoli player Paititi has ever known. <laughs> Not bad for a dead man. <laughs> Not bad at all. So again, what did you learn? I learned that sacrifice can make your life better. That you shouldn't be constrained by the legacy of your family. You can find your own path. Love is stronger than death. And you need to believe in something greater than yourself. But ultimately, you can't control everything. It's what you make of your situation that defines you. Well said, Lara. You're sure you're not dead? <laughs> Taki thinks he lost his dice because he was unlucky. But it's not the throw of the dice that wins the game. It's the skill of the player. I see that now. What did you think of Moreka, the outcast? She was expecting me. She seemed to know quite a bit about me. Ah, she knows a lot about everything, Ishiki. She has the most wondrous items in her shop. Artifacts known only to the gods. I saw. You were lucky you found her. She often travels outside of Paititi, gathering inventory. She seemed the most optimistic. Of course she is. We have a saying in Paititi. We all create destiny. We don't choose our circumstances, only our actions. A lesson my friend Taki needs to learn. Well played. Thank you, Pisco. I'll bring the dice back to Taki. Okay, so we got Taki's dice. Where is old Taki? So he's way back there. Did I get this thing over here? I did not. Guess I should probably be looting the stuff in case I need more money for something because now I've got no money and I've got nothing to sell. So let's loot this stuff. All sorts of nice little lootables here. Grab that. Got two feathers. Always nice to get the feathers, because those seem to be the rarer things that I have a hard time finding. All right, homie, I got your dice back. Your dice, Taki. Oh, thank you. Didn't you say Pisco stole your dice? Everyone knows Pisco steals. According to him, you wanted to play a game and you lost. He wouldn't let me play again. Just one more roll and I would have won. Pisco wanted you to know. It's not the throw of the dice that wins the game. It's the skill of the player. Now that I have my dice back, I can practice more. Thanks again, Ishiki. Oh, achievement unlocked. Help thy neighbor. Complete a side mission. Really, 50 Gs for completing a side mission. Alright, so... We are at 20 minutes. I don't really want to start the next 
thing, but can can I? T how do you tell if you got an item already, or does it take it off the map completely? I don't. I don't know. Let's go back here and grab some stuff. Hopefully I can go back here. Ooh. What else do we got? Nice. Inc increase that language. Might as well grab all the supplies I can. The new methods of Okay, where am I going? Alright, let me grab this first. This will be kind of stuff that I do to clean up episodes. I don't know how much I'll do it, like, overall, because I don't know. I never was a huge fan of when... Oh my gosh, a bunch of new crap added to the map. I was never a huge fan of when um, uh, people would add just, like, filler crap in of them walking around. So, I don't know. I don't know. I want to do a lot of the side stuff because I do really like Tomb Raider. It's one of my favorite game series, but but I don't want to keep you guys for like episodes at a time of me just finding collectibles and stuff. Maybe we can hit like a new game plus type thing and do that type of stuff. And then people who are interested can watch that. But it's a good thing, like, at the end of this episode, like, we finished that up, obviously, and not really enough time to start the main story quest. If I find side quests like that, I'll do them. I have no problem doing them, but some of them you gotta, like, search the world for. Oh, oh it's on the other side. Ooh, it's a metal block. Plastic penguin. <clears throat> Believe, yeah, we got this up here. Got a couple of things up here. Can I... I don't understand. It's almost like a creel. Well, can't decipher that. So that's fantastic. Alright, so I think we got everything. Oh, uh, did we get everything? No, we gotta go. Let's go get the jade. Oh, that's down at the bottom. What do we have over here? Hold on. What is this? Braided something. Well, I can cut it, so. It didn't let me swan dive. Well, okay. Let's go get this jade. That was probably one of those diving points that I needed to get. There we go. Nice six jade ore. Then more ore here. Okay, so I don't even actually that wasn't even one of the high dives. That was just to dive down to here. Um, totally missed this relic. Let's go get this relic. I don't know. We'll do this for a little bit longer, and then we'll call it an episode. I don't want to waste too much of your time with mindless exploring. Oh, huh? let's see. Grab this. Alright, where is this relic at? Looks like it's down. Up the ladder we go. Ah.
do we get up there? I don't know. We're trying to keep a low profile. I would go. Only I can't abandon my post here, and time is running short. It would mean a lot to Queen Unoratu and the rebellion. Hey guys, I'm back. What do we get new in the inventory? Why is it? Okay, no, okay. I thought it put on the other thing again. I was like, why does it keep putting on the other crap that I don't want it to put on? Okay, how the heck do I get to this? Saying it's below me, is there... Oh, it still says it's below. How the heck? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure how to get that one. Let's clear out this side of the map. Actually, okay, so we can't go there yet. Let's just grab this cache and then we'll call it an episode. Oh, grab this. Got to be on top of my game, collecting supplies. All sorts of good little loots there. I mean, I'm not going to go super out of my way to loot everything, but we can try to loot everything that's in our path. How do I get up? Uh, it looks like maybe just... Well, let's grab this first. Even though it's not on the map. Get that language to 60%. Cut this. Not anything exciting, but we did get some supplies out of this. Oh, actually, we got a little collectible here. And we got an achievement. Archaeologist. Complete an artifact collection. A little dig spot here. And we got some, uh... Ooh. Story complete. Day in the life of the Inca. Cool. I'm kind of happy that I completed that before we called it an episode. I wonder what happens if I just murder one of their alpacas for its skin. Can I read this? Oh, I can read this! A lone sentry stands guard over me and his harvest. A lone sentry stand. Oh! Oh, hold on. Okay, so. Finding all sorts of cool things right here. Okay, so. Oh, I see the lone sentry. The lone sentry stands over me and my harvest. What is that supposed to mean? That means there's something to loot. I found the sentry. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> Dig spot. Ooh, let's get it. Oh, let's get it. Look at all that juicy loot. Ooh, can I take a peek at my inventory? Nope, I can't take a peek at my inventory. Alright, nice. I think that's a good place to call it an episode. Maybe it's 
maybe this will be more worth it to find all these side things than I thought. So I'm actually going to go... Let's go... Okay, for, hold on. Before I call it an episode... Let's be real. Let me go check out what I got. Because I don't... I don't have the icons memorized. So we got dig spot here. Okay, don't want to trigger the main story stuff. Alright, here's our merchant. Good day. Welcome. What do we get? So we got a albino capybara hide. Uh, no, no. Wait, this is by. Um, I have no idea what we got. I don't. I don't see anything new. We got black wolf from. So I know we got black wolf because that's that's new. We got we got that. We got that. I know that. Venom. We got two venoms. Did we just get some jaguar hides? I think we just got some jaguar hides too. Nonetheless, pretty, you, pretty, Shinji. pretty stoked. It's pretty awesome. Let's see. Let's go back over here, and we can call it an episode by the campfire. We'll check out skills. We got four skill points. That's good. Increase the amount of natural crack. I don't need more. We're finding plenty. Plenty. Let's see. Lure arrows. Vestige outfits require fewer materials. Ah, reduce damage falling for... I haven't had an issue with that. Let's go ahead and get this. And then loose arrows simultaneously at two... Ooh. Ooh, let's save up for that. Let's save up for that. Now, can I upgrade my gun again? Yes, I can. I can max this baby out. I don't think I have enough salvage to max it out. No. I should have gotten the ta- No, 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 no. We want the damage. We want the damage. So, we need to get four more salvage. Let's see if we can go buy four more salvage. So we can have a maxed out AR. I mean, obviously, I assume we're going to buy more ARs in the future, and then we'll have to upgrade those bad boys, but, uh... Do you sell just some salvage? How may I help you? Just some... Oh, you do. I need four salvage. I can only buy two, so I'm going to have to sell. So it's a good thing I went and... Oh, gold ore is just sellable, right? Yeah, look at all this gold and jade ore. Oh my gosh, look at all of that. Yes. It says sell to merchants, so I... I sure hope... I sure hope I'm okay to sell all of this. Alright, give me some salvage. I just need four for now. I kind of want one copy bar. Give me one copy bar. Give me one. Give me one of these. Okay. Come back soon. Bitch. Okie dokie. Let's go. Let's go upgrade. Inventory. Upgrade my assault rifle to max. Oh, yeah, I gotta hold it. Bang! Tape double mags. Fully upgrade a weapon. Achievement unlocked. The Viker Mark II. Fully up, fully upgraded. Look at that thing. That thing's a beast. The ammo capacity is a, a little low, but that thing's a beast. So, uh, that's gonna do it, guys. I think that's gonna do it for this episode. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Maybe we'll start doing a little bit more of the side stuff. Because it's it's pretty rewarding. And I'm assuming we'll come back here. But maybe we'll start off next episode by grabbing up a couple of things. But yeah, that's going to do it. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.